welcome to the ERW Wealth Institute. This is where leaders and future millionaires and billionaires come to learn and grow. We are always super excited to introduce another stunning discovery on your journey to a super successful life. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so now. While most people find our content inspiring, others may feel offended simply because we struck a chord. These principles have worked like a charm in the lives of many successful people. Get ready future millionaires and billionaires. We are super excited to lead you on this incredible journey of being a great world and business leader. Today, we will cover Chapter 4 of The Servant Leader. The Magic of Teamwork Author, Emmanuel Randolph Weger A Contemporary Executive Business and Leadership Coach This chapter will guide and give you the tools needed to build a high-performance team. The lessons and research contained in this chapter will equip you for a quantum leap into building a successful team, scaling your company, growing your organization or church, and making your government agencies effective and impactful. Nothing big and significant has ever been possible without a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. John Maxwell. This concept is a warm approach to the idea that only by working in a team will you fulfill your dream of greatness, beat your competition, and grow your organization. Google, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Walmart, and Tesla are changing the world in many ways because of the high-performance teams that work assiduously behind the scenes to make these companies dominate, outpace the market, and outperform their competition. These tech giants encourage their employees to work in teams. Various studies have shown that groups tend to innovate better, yield faster and better results, achieve higher productivity, higher efficiency, identify mistakes more quickly, and find better solutions to problems. Forbes magazine. If you take out the team and teamwork, it just works that's left. Now, who wants that? Matthew Woodring Stover. Teams in the COVID-19 era are far distinct from those of the past. Today's teams are digital, dynamic, more diverse, and dispersed. But while teams face new hurdles amidst global panic and anxiety, their success still hinges on a core set of proven fundamentals for group collaboration. We will explore why some teams succeed and other teams barely get by. Teamwork is not merely gathering people together to perform a task. Teamwork is when people collaborate on a singular goal to uplift each other while working cohesively towards greater initiatives or purpose. In Google's quest to build a perfect team, the company gathered software engineers in Silicon Valley and encouraged them to work in teams. Studies show that groups tend to be more creative, innovate faster, identify errors more quickly, and find practical and advantageous solutions to difficult situations. High-performance teams tend to attain better results and report higher job happiness and increased compensation and bonuses, the New York Times. Some teams will never win, while others will always get ahead. Winning teams never allow personal feelings and negative emotions to thrive among them. Members of winning teams are non-judgmental, and somewhat more supportive, more collaborative, respect each member's perspective regardless of age, sexual orientation, level of education, religious beliefs, race, or socioeconomic status. There are three kinds of teams, number one, high performance teams, number two, low performance teams, and number three, dysfunctional teams. A dysfunctional team will tear down your organization quicker than the speed of light. The low performance team is like a slow poison that will eventually bring your company to its knees. First, let's discuss the characteristics of high performance teams. One. The magic of teamwork happens only in high-performing teams. These teams win championships, grow companies exponentially, outperform the marketplace, and outpace their competition. 2. The leader of a high-performance team is willing to share and delegate leadership and power, this is life-changing. They are eager to defer leadership to team members and use collaborative leadership practices when required. They are mind-blowing motivators, coaches, and facilitators, and not bossy micromanagers. The leader must hire high performers, motivate, and incentivize outstanding performance. Imagine LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players in the NBA, being paid the same salary as the other players. You might not have him for too long. Star performers and producers always get paid more monetarily, get praise, perks, and other incentives for their extraordinary efforts on the team. This is the backbone to championship teams companies, and organizations that power up top producers and make a significant life-changing impact on many lives. 3. Voice. An extensive study by Harvard Business School gathered that everyone on the team must have an equal voice for a team to perform exceptionally. A high-performance team leader brilliantly ensures that everyone on the team can have an equal amount of time to speak. Everyone has a voice on a high-performance team. When people's voices are heard, 
they become more productive. The servant leader knows that when people weigh in, they buy in. This concept has yielded breathtaking results according to research because people feel valued. Also, if one person speaks all the time, it leads to an intelligent decline in the group. 4. Conflict. Members of high-performance teams manage conflicts constructively. They exercise humility in resolving disputes and admit their mistakes and shortcomings openly. Disagreement among the group members is for the company's better good and not for personal glory, power, or recognition. 5. Communication. Team members practice open communication. They communicate with honesty, frequently, and effectively. Transmission in this context means communicating transparently. Communication must be void of secrecy. Secrecy tears down trust faster than a wildfire. The power of clear communication is jaw-dropping when the leader is approachable, and key information is readily accessible to members of the team. 6. Emotional Intelligence Members of the high-performance team possess social and emotional intelligence skills. They are self-regulated. They are self-aware and possess high social sensitivity. They are skilled at sensing how others feel based on their tone of voice, facial expressions, and body language. They know when someone is upset or left out. They understand that theirs and the emotional well-being of people around them matter. They control their emotions and are mindful of how their emotions can affect other members of the team. They are supportive, friendly, warm, empathetic to fellow team members. 7. Humility. Members of high-performance teams exercise high levels of humility. Team members have high regard and respect for each other, and the leader is not bossy, arrogant, or egotistical. The strongest member of the team lift the weakest, and members are not put them down or gossip about them. The smartest and most talented make the other team members look better. 8. Loyalty. Members of a high-performance team are loyal and work for the better good of the company. It is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. Harry Truman, team members, are devoted to each other and protect fellow team members' interests. Psychological safety, morale, and a sense of inclusion and acceptance inspire members to make meaningful contributions to the team. Loyalty inspires bonding, which is essential due to the remote nature of work during and beyond the COVID-19 era. 9. Time Management Time management is critical to everyone on the high-performance team. In the article titled, What Google Learned from Its Quest to Build the Perfect Team, high-performance teams sustained friendly exchanges, and members were generally warm towards each other. Extraordinary teams are very efficient. Time management is paramount to high-performance teams. 10. Accountability. High-performance teams adhere to, embrace, and exercise transparency at every stage of operation. Remarkably, transparency inspires trust, clarity, prudence, speed, and accuracy. It is amazing what you can accomplish if you do not care who gets the credit. Harry Truman. Characteristics of a low-performance team. 1. Personal competition. Members of low-performance teams are not necessarily toxic troublemakers. Members of low-performance teams are often hardworking and care about their success individually and as a team. But everyone on the low-performance team is trying to outperform their peers and often lose sight of the team's overall objective. 2. Power struggle. On the low-performance team, everyone is scrambling for power. Personal accomplishment is more important than the team's achievement. 3. Lack of knowledge of the company's vision. Members of a low-performance team barely understand the overall picture of the company or organization they serve. 4. Transparency. Members of a low-performance team lack transparency. Vague directions and improper information sharing plague the team. 5. Insecurity. Members of a low-performance team tend to protect themselves from being micromanaged and often second-guess themselves, consequently hurting efficiency and productivity. 6. Lost in the wind. Team members find it hard to see how their contribution fits into the larger project, program, or company strategy. They don't know why or how high-level decisions are made and, therefore, feel disconnected, powerless, and unsupported. 7. Lack of trust. Due to the lack of transparency, members of the low-performance teams also lack faith in each other. Beware, trust builds loyalty, but the lack thereof leads to confusion and meltdowns. 8. Leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Jim Ron. Leaders of low-performance teams are autocratic and lack collaborative decision-making. Decision-making is limited to the leader. On the contrary, the servant leader will allow the team to participate in the decision-making process because that inspires innovation fully, and it's less burdensome. 
Now that we have learned the essential characteristics of a high-performance team and a low-performance team, let's look into a dysfunctional team's attributes. Every company or organization appreciates a positive culture in the workplace, and such achievement is not common because every employee is different and unique. A negative company culture leads to constant disagreements, personal attacks, and prohibits team members from working cohesively towards a common goal. Let's dig into the characteristics of a dysfunctional team. 1. A dysfunctional team lacks clarity, transparency, and trust in each other, thus always concerned about being wrong. Simultaneous and collective decision-making becomes difficult for team members because they do not trust each other enough to admit their weaknesses. 2. Avoidance of conflict. Members of dysfunctional teams avoid healthy conflict. Conflict in this context means having varying philosophies, different ideas, or alternative perspectives on a team's objective. According to management guru Patrick Lencioni, dysfunctional teams fear conflict because members feel comfortable and preferably work in artificial harmony to avoid heated discussions or variation of ideas, which is a nightmare. Therefore members of a dysfunctional team often pretend to agree with ideas and suggestions they don't even agree with, just to avoid heated discussions and conflict. However, they don't realize that healthy competition is necessary for producing excellent results. 3. Little or no focus on results. Members of a dysfunctional team maintain very little focus on results. Members generally put their own needs ahead of company goals leading to pitfalls. Interestingly, their ego, personal growth, and recognition are more important than teamwork, feeding panic among members and catastrophic outcomes. These individuals often burn out. Their desire for individual credit takes away the focus of collective team success and victories. Dysfunctional teams lose sight of the ultimate goal, which hinders a company's overall growth and heads for imminent collapse. 4. Lack of commitment. Members of a dysfunctional team lack commitment to the company's success and this is dangerous. When there is a lack of faith, team members are less committed, which ultimately pose a dangerous problem because non-committed team members do not feel compelled to perform or discuss critical tasks, thus compromising critical and timely decision-making. This kind of behavior is hazardous to the team. Dysfunctional team members also feel that nobody cares about their opinions and may not want to contribute to discussions, and this is a tragedy to the health of a team. Lack of commitment creates more significant problems when the team has decided upon a particular course of action. The team members seem to be working according to their own will, which is disastrous. 5. Avoidance of accountability. The dysfunctional team members avoid accountability. Lacking accountability is a dangerous trait because when people avoid responsibility, they lose sight of their purpose and team goals. They tend to point fingers and push back deadlines. Astonishingly, team members are consumed with activities irrelevant to the tasks at hand and continue to work without real focus and clarity on goals, which could be devastating to an organization. They become eye servants. They are deceivingly pretending to work hard when high-level executives are within reach or during meetings. Every leader must ask yourself these pivotal reflective questions, does my company have a high-performing team or just a group of people struggling to figure it out? Are my people motivated enough to do more? Am I a servant leader humble enough to identify my flaws or learn from my subordinates? Think about the Beatles, they made all of their hits in 8 years. They sometimes slept in the same room, ate the same food, focused on making great music, and kept pushing each other to the limit. The Beatles is an excellent example of a high-performance team. Find a group of people who challenge and inspire you, spend a lot of time with them, and it will change your life forever. Amy Poehler The late Michael Jackson could never have been the world's king of pop if he did not have a high-performance team of motivated musicians, singers, and managers. One person never does great things in business, a team of people does them. Steve Jobs Jesus Christ led a team of 12 men who helped him paint a picture of salvation, redemption, faith, hope, and love. By 2050, the Christian population will exceed 3 billion. When God created the universe, he had a team of three. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit working cohesively as one. Steve Jobs conceived Apple's vision, but it took a team of like-minded and uniquely talented guys with a singular goal to make that vision come alive. Here is a classic story of a furniture design and distribution company in northern Michigan. The company was very profitable for the past five decades. Mrs. Whitney Jones was the company's design and quality control manager. She was the sole decision maker regarding products that will hit the market. Suddenly, though Mrs. Jones was still doing the job as correctly as ever, sales continued to drop rapidly. 
the company looked at its product quality and have not seen any structural changes or defects. As a result of the financial losses and three bad quarters in one year, the company decided to replace its leadership. The company fired its CEO and hired a new CEO, a servant leader named Paul Wilson. The new CEO diagnosed the issues and quickly realized a territorial passive-aggressive culture that was not open to alternative views and contributions. Therefore, the servant leader decided to implement a team approach across every area of the company's operation. Because of the severe net loss incurred, the board of directors strongly suggested a budget cut and downsize to cut costs, which meant getting rid of some employees. The servant leader quickly disagreed with the board's decision but elected to keep the budget where it was. He decided to hire a demographically diverse group of people because the 75-year-old company had a much older workforce. The servant leader brought in talented college interns, new graduates, and mid-level professionals to diversify the workforce. The company was dying. Why did the servant leader hire more people and remove the directors of marketing, sales, design, and human resources when these individuals have been performing well in their role over the past decades? The short answer. Time has changed, and those veterans were not confirming to the changing times and new market demands for diversity, teamwork in the workplace, virtual workspace, and customer expectations. During and post-COVID-19, marketing has gone digital. Product design has become more futuristic and theme-oriented. Sales have taken a turn online. Recent studies showed that product sales online in the first quarter of 2020 account for a record 18% of all retail, and this trend is growing at a fast pace. According to the online research company Comscore, during the pandemic, Amazon's website traffic surged to 2.54 billion visitors in March alone, a 65% jump from the year before. The servant leader took the company from mediocrity to a significant online competitor because of teamwork. The servant leader remained calm while leading his teams, motivating, training, encouraging, praising, and rewarding his mid to top producers. The morale of the workers went through the roof, and job satisfaction increased mightily. Every project was a team effort, and at the finish of significant projects were celebrations complete with balloons, free lunch, and high fives to build a warm culture. As a result of the servant leaser's team approach to every project, and a new company culture, it became profitable beyond the board's and shareholders' expectations. The company's first year closed with a significant net profit, thus recovering from a net loss a year earlier. Cooperation is the accurate conviction that nobody can get there unless everybody gets there. Virginia Burton The board did not understand the magic of teamwork and the power of a diverse and cohesive workforce. The servant leader trusted the inherent power in collaboration, evidently saved the company, and made it profitable again. Not a single one of us is as smart as all of us. Ken Blanchard When your organization begins to fail, do not start to downsize immediately. Form a high-performance team on every single project not a low performance or a dysfunctional team. Whether it be a team of two or three, form a high performance team. If everyone on the team is moving forward together cohesively, then success takes care of itself, Henry Ford. If you want the next promotion or recognition, you have to elbow that hard-working colleague next to you out of the way. Wrong. Harvard Business Review. Here is the ERW model for leaders who endeavor to build a high performance team. This model provides the leadership tools needed to navigate group dynamics and concepts that will help you build a high-performance winning team. Number 1. Leadership. You lead people and manage things. The leader of a high-performing team must be a servant leader. The servant leader is not bossy, he is humble, personable, approachable, down-to-earth, and non-egotistical. The high-performance team leader is transparent, communicates, defines team goals, and clear direction. He motivates and cheers his team to victory. The team leader should be able to believe and have faith in his team members' capabilities. The leader must do a SWOT analysis of the team to identify its strengths, weaknesses, opportunity, and threats. Build on new possibilities, battle away threats, and identify the team's strength and take advantage of opportunities to make the team thrive. Constant, wire review of the strength and aspiration of team members to assess the individual impact on the team. That leads to the next attribute of a high-performance team leader, they foster accountability. Number 2. Accountability and Feedback Providing feedback on work progress is the golden rule for checks and balances. The team leader must monitor end-to-end -end progress and give feedback on areas needing improvement. Accountability means taking responsibility for one's failure and not pointing fingers. Quality control and accountability work hand-in-hand. -hand. The team leader must ensure checks and balances among team members. 
check the team's recent quality of work to determine how to improve the quality of its subsequent. With accountability comes trust. Number 3. Trust. The high-performance team leader and every team member must instill mutual trust in each other. Always remember that trust has a direct impact on productivity, positive engagement, growth, and profitability. A high-performance team leader must ensure that team members have solid and deep confidence in each other. With trust, transparency is imminent. Number 4. Transparency. And clearly defined goals. Open communication and honesty with your team will help cultivate a warm culture in which the high-performance team can thrive. A high-performance team leader must ensure that the purpose of the team is crystal clear. Keep team members essentially focused on the company's objectives and passionately connected to its mission and trajectory. Transparency positively affects the attitude of individual members of a high-performance team. Number 5. Attitude. The high-performance team leader must ensure that the team members sustain a shared mindset, discourage destructive behaviors, and promote positive attitudes towards work and other team members. The team leaders must discourage divisiveness at all costs. It is critical that team members care about each other's well-being, protect each other's interests, polish each other's skills while staying focused on the organization's objectives. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress and working together yields success. Henry Ford Number 6. Boundaries. The high-performance team leader must establish clear boundaries for the team members so that each member is aware of the prerequisites for functioning on the team. The team leader defines the liberties of team members and what remains within the control of the leader. Number 7. Motivation and Empowerment. A high-performance team leader must assume a facilitator who empowers team members to take on higher responsibilities and new functions. The leader should be confident that empowerment need not threaten their own leadership position. If you want to lift yourself, lift someone else. Booker T. Washington. Inspire people to be their best. Do not be a dictator. Nobody likes dictators. People are afraid of them. They incite fear, and fear kills loyalty. Number 8. Alignment and Standard Operating Procedure. The high-performance team leader must establish standard operating procedures, for planning and execution. Encourage participation of all team members in the planning and decision-making process. The strengths and talents of the team members must are aligned with company goals. Find a way to leverage the strengths of the team to reduce or mitigate weaknesses on the team. Number 9. Conflict. Conflict within teams is inevitable. And that's a good thing because it is also essential to creative collaboration. Without differences of opinion, there can be no debate about crucial issues nor synthesis of ideas. Harvard Business Review. According to William Wrigley, if two people in business always agree, one of them is unnecessary, the team leader must manage healthy conflict in other to arrive at the best answers and winning solutions. Number 10. Supportive Organizational Culture. The team leader must ensure that his team operates on a specific and well-defined set of guiding principles that dictate how they behave, participate, and communicate. The team leader must encourage diversity, creativity, and support thinking outside the box to allow team members to exploit their creative genius. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor, if either falls, one can help the other back to safety. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 and 10. To accomplish great things, we all need teammates and a supporting family to pick us up. We have a natural duty to diligently seek opportunities to pick others up as well when they stumble. High-performance team members work to build each other up. They care deeply about each other's development and personal growth. Forbes magazine. The servant leader understood that it would take a team effort to get the company out of the passive-aggressive culture that kept the same people in the same role for decades. The servant leader realized that a younger and more diverse workforce would make all the difference for any company, organization, church, or country. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence win championships. Michael Jordan. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, the late Kobe Bryant, soccer great Cristiano Ronaldo, and Tom Brady could never win a championship without a team. Teamwork is the ability to collaborate toward a shared vision and direct individual achievements toward the organizational goal. It is the fuel that allows ordinary people to attain uncommon results. Andrew Carnegie Vision, Mission, Goal, Strategy, and an Action Plan that requires all hands on deck create great companies like Amazon and Google, businesses like Walmart, teams like the Lakers and the Patriots, organizations like the United Nations. Individual commitment to a group effort that is what makes teamwork, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi
There are no bosses on a winning team. Every member has a unique role based on their skills and talent. Each member is a leader responsible for the team's success. Each member must be a gatekeeper of the organization. Like the Navy SEALs, if one member of the team deviates from the plan, the group becomes handicapped. It is like losing a limb. The human body is a classic example of a winning team. All parts of the human body are crucial to its full functionality. The strength of the team is each member. The strength of each member is the team. Phil Jackson The servant leader embraces a leadership philosophy in which the primary goal of the leader is to serve. They maintain focus on goal achievement while remaining humble and putting the team's needs before their own. Implement these principles and watch the magic of teamwork expand your company, organization, church, or government. The old African adage says, two heads are better than one. Because you made it to the end of this video, here is a bonus for you. The most excellent and most influential book ever written is the Holy Bible. Here are some exciting scriptures that speak about the power of teamwork. Amos chapter 3, verse 3, two cannot walk together unless they agree. Team members must have a singular goal, to achieve results, or else it remains a struggle. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body, 1 Corinthians 12 17-20. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. We all are pointed and improved by the interactions and examples of our peers. Proverbs 27 17. You are the sum total of your surrounding. The company you keep defines who you are or will soon become. Birds of the same feathers flock together. Unknown author. If you keep five negative friends, you may be the sixth one. If you have five rich friends, you will be the sixth wealthy person. If you are close friends with five lazy persons, you will begin to take shortcuts, procrastinate more, and slack more. If you have five spiritual friends, you will be the sixth. Moral of this story? Closely watch your affiliations. They will eventually convert you. Hey, future world leaders, millionaires, and billionaires. Thanks for spending some time with us today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification button to this channel for other chapters of the Servant Leader and other life-changing contents. Also, please let us know.